Born on May 1st, Romain Brooks was a painter who worked mostly in Paris and Capri. Having lived to the glorious age of 96, Brooks' life had been filled with many struggles and accomplishments that allowed her to produce fantastic works of art. Brooks is well known for her contributions as a part of the first generation of revolutionary and openly bohemian female artists. Starting with her childhood, Romaine Brooks was born Beatrice Romaine Goddard to an affluent American family. However, financial security did not stop the misfortunes of her youth. Brooks' father left shortly after her birth, and her mother focused all her love and attention on the artist's brother. Mental illness was prevalent in the family and greatly affected her mother and brother, both of whom were tormented with imaginary voices. When her cousin committed suicide, her mother told the young daughter that she had seen the cousin's ghost. This traumatized Brooks to the extent that she started to create disturbing drawings that featured spirits. When asked of her childhood, Brooks was quoted having said, My earliest recollection is of the immense impression of fear. As said prior, Romaine Brooks was a part of the first generation of revolutionary and openly bohemian female artists. As a practicing artist pre-First World War, this was a moment in history when women did not have the right to vote and, as such, did not have the due respect or the same opportunities as men. The way to succeed at the time, or perhaps simply to be noticed, was to mimic masculine appearance and to renounce femininity for all of its restrictions and expectations. Thus, many of Brooks' notable paintings depict androgynous figures. Brooks is often compared to the writer Virginia Woolf. Both women had fought for independence in mind and finance and understood that their dedicated artistry pursuits came at a great price. Brooks contributed to many significant art movements and trends in thinking at the time. Her intense interest in portraiture supported the emergent study of psychoanalysis, a practice where individual identity for the first time was scrutinized. Similarly, surrealism sought to expose and illustrate unconscious fear in a way that Brooks's prefigures in her drawings on paper had done. Furthermore, as Brooks placed great importance on the depiction of restrained beauty, she extended her art to interior design. Brooks was able to create her own original aesthetic inspired by the works of Charles Condor, Walter Skigert, and James McNeil Whistler. Brooks established a signature palette of soft and subdued gray. On the one hand, the absence of color in Brooks' paintings could stand as a mark of melancholy, the shadows that she says had been cast over her life since childhood. However, another plausible influence is the invention and increase in use of photography. At this point, photography was executed only in black and white and varied hues of gray. And like the pictures of Brooks, the new medium sought to successfully illuminate the spirit of the sitter. Another notable painting of Brooks was titled Miss Natalie Barney, Le Amazon. This painting depicts Natalie Barney, a talented writer and the woman with whom Brooks remained romantically entwined with for 50 years. The portrait is somewhat softer and less formal than previous works, and as such, suggests the love that Brooks found in the company of Barney. The title itself alludes to the Greek myth of the Amazons, a tribe of women warriors. Of all her creations, Brooks' self-portrait stands the most recognizable. Here, the artist stands tall, assured, and beautiful, dressed in a black equestrian suit with dark gl gray gloves and completed with a top hat. She stands in front of a landscape of decaying buildings, but by contrast, she herself is at the pinnacle of her creative career. By depicting herself in a non-gender specific costume, Brooks is making the statement of her career. She shuns the shackles of femininity and instead mimics masculine dress in order to progress with work ideas and artistic idealism.